<laughs> they already made his ass twice more interesting than he was yesterday. Because he's pissing everybody off. So this, is, this is definitely a heel move. To mm -hmm. bring contact. Well, right. Louis, that, this is gonna be some shit. Something, hey. something gotta happen. Yeah, net for sure. Hey, uh, y'all might not believe me, but in one of the very first Game of Thrones books, there is a line, and I shit you not, that reads, "Rob Stark's penis was glowing in the summer sun." And I'm like, wait a minute, what? I wouldn't be shocked, bro. Right? They talking about. You Rob lost me at the word book, but that just lost me 50 times more. <laughs> Check the mess. Yeah, George R. R. Martin is really weird, bro. He's weird. The books, there's some weird stuff written in those books. And people don't want to read the books because they're like freaking dictionaries, but if you read them, you see there's some weird freaking stuff in those books. It's like watching an episode, for real. Now they skip around so much in the books and there's little dividers down. Separating, you know, where it's supposed to be a scene jump and everything. Hey, did you listen to, uh, uh, uh Sam Roberts last week, man? With Bobby Lashley? I, I yeah. like, I buzzed in that one a couple times because Bobby had me cry. I was like, what? <laughs> I was oblivious to some I... things. He was like, I didn't think it's dirt sheets. I was like, what's a dirt sheet? People talk about this on the internet? What? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, I didn't know nothing about this December to December thing. He's like, hey, know. man, I was doing what I was told. I didn't know yeah, people were going to be I didn't know Paul was trying to take down the ECW. <laughs> <laughs> Is this me to do it? <laughs> I was like, what? He was like, oh, oh, that that he, even, even Bobby said that he goes, he goes, yeah, they wanted me to do something. And I think that was Vince's way of saying, yeah, fuck ECW. I was like, what? <laughs> 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 on the floor. I said, this interview's way funnier than I thought it was going to be. I swear to God. But go yeah, ahead. Like, this is actually a really good interview. I was like, Bobby, <laughs> yeah. like, Bobby <laughs> people didn't believe it. Bobby done developed the personality since he's been in TNA. Yeah, it was, this, this ain't even got nothing to do with character. It's just him telling these stories. They were fucking no, funny. I'm about his damn personality and started shining through more. That's good. Well, I never TNA, knew about this. So that he's more interested in real life, too. Oh, I, bet. I never knew about this bank robbery story, either, where he was in... See, he I was going to be an Olympic wrestler, and the, he went to a bank, and somebody came in to rob it and started shooting, and he hit the floor, and when he hit the floor, he, like, ruptured his knee, something in his knee. Oh, yeah, <laughs> That's why and he's that, like, that kept him out of the Olympics. Shit, bro, ah, that, that ah. nigga was trying to get on the ground as quick as possible. That's all that was. You ain't trying to get killed. I know, I'm not I'm laughing. He hit the floor. I'm yes. Just, that's funny. That's funny as shit. Because I would have done the same. Because he couldn't, he couldn't compete in the Olympics so he had to have surgery. And uh, they, they, he's like, I hey, you want to try I lost out on a job because of something similar to that one time. Because they were like, so if somebody comes and robs you, what are you gonna do? Like, let them have the money and walk away? Cause I ain't gonna fight for this shit. This ain't my money. Mm mm. They do that on. They do that on well, a lot of uh, job trainings too. They go, if a robbery goes down, give it to them. I was like, fuck that. Cause I ain't dying for this damn job. The, uh, the best part of that story was when he was like, man, WWE wanted to have a meeting, and I had, a, I said, I talked to him. I, you know, I made some excuses, pushed it back, pushed it back a month. Cause he was still on crutches and stuff on his knee and he's like okay i gotta try and rehab this knee and get off these crutches i don't want to walk into a meeting with them and be on crutches and so he rehabbed rehabbed and he finally took his leg brace off as he got off the you know after he got off the airplane in louisville yeah to OBW. when he said he's like, i was like yeah it'll be dog time we'll go ahead he walks into it expecting to have a meeting They're like okay okay everybody hit the ring and run the ropes <laughs> he's just barely walking on his leg mm -hmm. on his knee he said he, he, said, he said he started running <laughs> super hard he's like i like your aggression <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what the fuck <laughs> yeah mm -mm. they had me crying i was like like this nigga got some stories. He liked Trump too. <laughs> I caught that. He goes, I hate to disappoint you, but 
He's not racist. I said, God damn. <laughs> I said, okay, whatever. Suit yourself, That's nigga. Two people, him and Tyrus, who's both said that. Well, no, no, no. Tyrus said, he goes, now look. He goes, I respect Trump because I know what I'm getting with him. <laughs> I said, I'm like, oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm like, you one of those. Bobby Lashley. Personally, but he, I don't feel I Trump can't... is racist either. He just knows who his base is. Oh, yeah. He knows how to make people react. That's all that is to he me. He knows where he he knows who's buttering his biscuits. Oh yeah. It ain't gonna matter. No way, cause there ain't no way dude runs for re-election. I just don't see it. Yeah, you he say that now. Out. You say it now. I just don't see it, dude, man. Four years later, this nigga's still in <laughs> office. We gonna have a problem. <laughs> hey, like, there is no way he wouldn't be in office now if he wouldn't run up against Hillary. He's got the highest he, disapproval he, he, rating of any president now, in history. Hopefully, the damn Democrats pick a he wise person this time. Yeah, he literally could have ran across anybody else in the country and probably would have lost, except for Hillary Clinton. That's he so won. fucked up. <laughs> they rather you the they damn, rather you have the Democrats put her up again. You what? They rather no, have this they nigga. They rather have this nigga in office than put Hillary in there and have to be Michelle, the first. Michelle Obama's gonna run. I already know what's gonna happen. Hell no. Nah. Michelle can definitely. I guarantee I, you, man. Michelle will be the first black female and first female president, <laughs> and everybody, you'll never hear the end of it. She's she gonna be worshipped. Gonna... She's gonna be worshipped five times gonna... higher than Beyonce gets worshipped by black chicks right now if she goes to she's run for president. She's gonna run, and she's gonna easily beat Trump. Not she's even gonna gonna without the queen. She she's gonna be become the queen of black people. Oh, that's not automatic. If 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 we have an actual Oprah, if we have a if we have a literal Michelle. female black president, they're gonna we're gonna hold her up as our queen, literally. Like she's Obama's gonna be the queen of black people. <laughs> Think about who's the queen of black people? Michelle Obama. <laughs> That's all she you hear. I thought food. it was Beyonce was the queen. Man, fuck Beyonce. Why don't she not mess with my food like she messed with the, the school lunches? I'll be all right. Pope, you sound like, not Pope. Man, you sound like one of them senior citizens. She better not fuck with my Medicaid. I swear to God. <laughs> 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 I mean, I ain't the guy. You saw those school lunches going on. I, was like, I would not be able to survive back then. Mm -hmm. if, if that was what I had in my school lunch. Well, my school lunch my was lunch lit as a bitch. <clears throat> I love school lunch. <laughs> that fucking rectangle yep. pizza? Don't talk to me. I swear <laughs> to God. That rectangle pizza was beast. You got stuffed crust pizza every day. I was like, nigga, what? Y'all had stuffed crust? Excuse the hell out of me. We had it too. Every day we had stuffed crust pizza. Fuck y'all, bro. Y'all had stuffed crust yeah. pizza? <laughs> Well, we did it too. Was, I, no, I didn't say it was good stuffed crust pizza, but it was stuffed crust pizza. We had we had a nasty, like, we had not nasty, but we had options. Like they gave us some damn. We had some place out here called Pizza Magia, and these niggas would bring these fucking center pies. Oh God, I wouldn't even eat regular food for fucking lunch. I'd be eating all these fucking desserts. That's why I got cabbage. Here's another one interesting one for you. My high school would let us leave. And go get ass food and bring it back to school as long as we were back within a certain amount of time. We could I do mean, the same could... too on our lunch period if you were, if uh, in high school, as long as you were back before lunch was over. I was like, nigga, how am I gonna get. And McDonald's was literally across the street from ours, but you would have to go the minute the bell rang and then come back. I was like, damn, you niggas yeah. got McDonald's? Fuck yeah. We, well, I mean, we, we could have done that. We, I just lived in a town that didn't have any fast food restaurants, so there was nowhere we could have went. Uh uh. So yeah, we just all had the cafeteria. Well, we had Burger King, Taco Bell, and Sonic right literally down the street from our school. So I would just alter day. Mm. Then they cut it out for our senior year because some damn idiot left the school and went and robbed the bank and came back to school. But then at that point, we just started skipping, skipping. We skipped out and went and got food. Cause I was so spoiled, but I'm like, man, I can't go back to eating this cafeteria food. I didn't mind cafeteria food, man. Me either. I didn't mind it, but we damn it, when you eat fast, now. when you eat fast food for two years straight for lunch, you get pretty tired of damn. You ain't going back to cafeteria food. <laughs> I, uh, our school had for a dollar for breakfast. Fuck you. You got chicken and biscuit. Mm. Chicken and biscuit. Now, sometimes they would have 
more I mean you get more than chicken and biscuits chicken and biscuit tater tots and then milk for a dollar damn uh, the white uh, folks schools, boy. hash browns but sometimes they would double down on you and you'd get chicken and biscuit eggs with some cheese on like not cheese sauce but like melted cheese on it um and the hash browns and the chocolate milk all for a dollar lunch was only like two dollars or something See, 225 i can't drink chocolate milk it messes my stomach up Nah, chocolate milk was the stuff, and then they introduced. I love chocolate milk at school. This shit was good. They, I could then never they drink it. It messed my stomach they, uh, all the way up. The minute they brought strawberry into the fold, which I had no idea existed at the time, until I got to like <laughs> middle school, like late. I think we, I think I saw a glimpse of strawberry milk in fifth grade, and it was like one time. I was like, "What? Strawberry milk? What? Don't play." Because strawberry is my I favorite could, thing, I bro. Guess, man. When I drunk it, it just reminded me like Pepto Bismol or something. Not me. You I got it depends. Never, I could, couldn't do it. I'm allergic to strawberry. Oh, that sucks, bro. Strawberry milkshakes is my fuck yeah. But fucking. Now, I like strawberry milkshake. For some reason, the, the strawberry milk it just wouldn't uh, do it for me. See, now, now did you get? Did you drink? Did you drink Dean's strawberry milk or did you drink the school strawberry milk? Uh, whatever the school have. That's why, cause bro. There, if you get a Nesquik strawberry milk or a Dean's strawberry milk, it tastes completely different. The one at school is kind of pasty, and you'd be like, nah, "That's I'll be back." Go ahead. Did you ever get that fucking pouch chocolate milk? It came with a big ass plastic sack. I was a... literally about to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I said, "I mean, we got that at work. We got that at school. That's what the fuck is this? How do you drink this shit?" Like a little bag of chocolate milk. And you just you just like, fucking stab that shit like you're doing surgery. Right you're in just, the middle ugh. of the <laughs> flimsy ass straw. And a lot of times they wouldn't break it. They wouldn't break through. And nope. Like, God, I'm and you're, you you got to sit day. there and squeeze. You got to hold it real tight. So, it, but not too tight. So you don't like fucking get milk in, everywhere. It was like a Capri Sun. We had to like jab a thing in, but there was no hole. You just had to none. Just, Absolutely <laughs> no hole. And then they wonder why everybody was spilling fucking milk all over the cafeteria. <laughs> like, what are you little bastards doing? I'm like, man, look. This ain't our fault. <laughs> ain't no tear here. <laughs> ain't no insert. Get out of here. <laughs> Got this big ass blob of milk. Just <laughs> And how did how'd you even do that in the first motherfucking place? <laughs> what I wanna know. <laughs> I have no idea. I was like, everybody like, how, how did they get milk into a pouch and seal it? What? <laughs> I'm like, what kind of fucking machinery are you using? That I couldn't even fathom that shit when I was in like the fourth fucking grade. <laughs> like, we're literally at. There was only one school that had that for me. Every other school had the carton. Here's my question: Did y'all have it where um, eating in the classroom was a privilege? <laughs> um. Yeah, I think that was. Oh yeah, my teacher had that. He's like, you can eat in the classroom with the teacher. Yep. And he gave me free pass, and me and two other guys got a free pass. And the day after we got it, his wife's his wife was a teacher at the school too. Yeah. And she surprised him on his birthday with a PS2. And we're oh like, wow. We're using our passes today because <laughs> he was gonna hook up the PS2 at lunch. And, and yeah, oh bro, someone did. That used to drive me crazy. <laughs> it wasn't even a PS2. It was elementary school. Somebody had a Sega hooked up during lunch. I was like, what? Y'all got to play Sega at school? Excuse mm -hmm. me. We got, got to play PS2. Right. The first time I ever played a PS2, that had just come out. That's when you could not find it anywhere. Bruh. Playing video games at school wasn't even a thing at first i was like we can do this don't play we play video games at school <laughs> i was like y'all brought games mr miller was his name he he's probably my favorite teacher i ever had see because we didn't have uh the i weird... didn't do those after school programs and and people would come back to me because they called it cep i think and then they said uh they came back they said they would be in cep after school playing fucking games like they're playing nintendo i said shut up y'all playing nintendo <laughs> what <laughs> I don't play Nintendo at school. That was my I mindset. When I did CEP in wow. fifth grade. They had an N64. Oh, y'all had, had this game Load Runner 64. You had CEP, Shaq? Yeah. See? Why did I remember that name? <laughs> what the hell? Um. 
Now, the weird thing about that teacher, Mr. Miller, I had, 